all right so in this video uh, I will discuss diagonalizability I'm not going to write it completely anyway so I spent at least two hours today because I had some confusion and I wanted to clear it the confusion was that minimal polynomial is equal to characteristic polynomial sorry minimal polynomial is equal to the characteristic polynomial when a matrix is diagonalizable so I had this I don't know from where I got this but I thought that if minimal no if a matrix is diagonalizable then its minimal polynomial is same as the characteristic polynomial which is obviously not true I mean it was not obvious to me a few hours back so first let's clear this out of the way we all know that the identity matrix is diagonalizable right is it hmm. yeah yeah it is diagonalizable and okay let's break it apart since it is a okay I hope you already know this then that when we have got a diagonal matrix or an upper or lower triangular matrix then that diagonal entries principal diagonal entries they are themselves the eigenvalues so we have three eigenvalues equal to one that means that their algebraic multiplicity is 3 right and what this implies it implies that oh just the characteristic polynomial which is since it is of order 3 x cubed minus trace into x square plus uh, what, what are these uh, they're called I think minors yeah minors of a11 a22 and a33 which in this case are zero anyway in this case even wait a minute trace is 3 and determinant is 1 and this coefficient of x okay this is also yeah this is also 3 okay let's let's evaluate this thing oh I'm, okay no need it is already given in a lot of works right <coughs> sorry for that anyway uh, yeah okay so its character characteristic polynomial is x minus 1 to the power 3 this will be negative right will this be negative a minus b who will give is a cube minus b cube minus 3ab into a minus b no this will be positive right minus 3ab into a minus b yeah this term will become positive right anyway algebraic multiplicity is just that this root is being repeated thrice give me a moment <coughs> really sorry for that now geometric multiplicity is that when we evaluate a minus lambda i then actually geometric multiplicity means that corresponding to this eigenvalue how many eigenvectors are there okay so since this eigenvalue 1 has an algebraic multiplicity of 3 if we are able to find 3 eigenvectors corresponding to this eigenvalue sorry not this this eigenvalue 1 only then will this matrix be diagonalizable okay so let's evaluate a minus lambda i which is 
obviously lambda is 1 a minus 1 times i is just a null matrix right every entry will become 0 so rank of, oh, sorry the nullity of this matrix let's call it t is 3 right so there are three eigenvectors corresponding to one hence geometric multiplicity is also three and only now we can say that the matrix is diagonalizable and why did i tell this all because the characteristic polynomial is this but in this case the minimal polynomial is just x minus 1. Okay. So the matrix is diagonalizable. But still the characteristic polynomial is not equal to the minimal polynomial. Okay. And how to know that? Obviously because put a minus lambda i, 1 times i not lambda, a minus i will get 0. So this polynomial annihilates A. Right? So the conclusion is that minimal polynomial is not always equal to the characteristic polynomial. There are a few cases and I can recall of just one when say we had, we had a matrix with three distinct roots and distinct roots okay lambda 1 lambda 2 so on lambda n they are all distinct suppose we had a matrix like this only in this case when all the eigenvalues are distinct only in that case will we say that minimal polynomial is same as the characteristic polynomial okay but Minimal poly polynomial and characteristic polynomial, if they are same for a given linear transformation or a matrix, one and the same thing in this context. Okay, so if characteristic polynomial and minimal polynomial are same, it does not imply that the matrix is diagonalizable. Okay, if with this condition they are also saying that all the eigenvalues are distinct damn it are distinct only then we can say that okay now this matrix is diagonalizable but if you are not provided with this information then we cannot conclude diagonalizability from this okay and what else And if you're confused that, like, what I have figured out is that, suppose we have been given a matrix, 1, 2, 4, 3, 2, 1, 1, 0, 2, okay, mm, yeah, uh, okay, let me change one entry in this to make it simpler for me, right, <coughs> sorry. Now, okay, if suppose this is a matrix T, right? And uh, what? Okay, let's make it even more simple. Zero, zero, and minus one. Okay, so we have three, or okay, yeah, that was the point. See, yeah, so first eigenvalue is let's say 2, and second and third eigenvalue is 1. So x minus 1 squared and x minus 2. This is the characteristic polynomial. Now, the easiest way for me, like simplest way, to evaluate the geometric multiplicity is just evaluate a minus lambda i for one like 
yeah this is discussed in a lot of examples okay just if you put lambda is one so we'll just need the identity matrix here right and this this will become i'm writing it here this will become zero two four zero one zero and zero 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 right null space only one vector is going right so but corresponding to this eigenvalue since it's algebraic multiplicity is one sorry two then for it to be diagonalizable the dimension of null space should have been two okay and yeah i got confused in a previous video where i thought that uh, the zero vector is always in the null space uh, it is not actually null space is defined as all the vectors other than the zero vector which map to the zero vector okay so if there is just one vector okay uh, anyway sorry stick to this let's stick to this in this case the nullity of t not t this is not t now this is a minus one times i one is our lambda right nullity of this is one that means corresponding to this eigenvalue one we are getting just one eigenvector but it should have been two in order for it to be diagonalizable so this is not diagonalizable this is the easiest way to check right now uh, suppose uh, suppose we had let me make some changes suppose we had two here it would not have affected the eigenvalues because diagonal is still untouched but okay i did a mistake even in this yeah see okay <laughs> just imagine that the case i just explained was for zero okay and apologies for that and now we will discuss the case for one here we will get one instead of zero right will that make any difference mm, not really okay so let's change this entry to two okay if this entry is two here we will get two now these two rows are linearly dependent so what we will get now is zero two four zero 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 so now corresponding to the eigenvalue one we are getting the nullity of a minus one times i as two this tells us that the geometric multiplicity of this eigenvalue is two and its algebraic multiplicity was also two hence now this matrix is diagonalizable right yeah that is what i can think of right now if someone watches it and mm, they need clarity on some concept related to this not advanced related to this then yeah just leave a comment okay sorry for this video like i made it in a rush because actually i was frustrated i spent two hours figuring this out anyway yeah i have my weird ways to figure things out anyway okay so any doubts post it in the comments and yeah ah happy new year everyone